what is going on guys it is drew with profit monsters back with a new video and for those of you guys who don't know i'm a full-time reseller and i make videos showing you guys what i do how i do it and hopefully teaching you a little bit about how to make money reselling online i sell on platforms like ebay poshmark mercari depop and facebook marketplace and i love going to thrift stores garage sales flea markets and using facebook marketplace to flip items for profit I just got home, it's like 3.30, I've been out all day. It was an absolutely crazy day. Probably one of the best hauls um, I've ever had in my entire life, my career of reselling, which has been about a year and a half. I went to the flea market, I went to some garage sales, and today just hit really good for me. I'm excited to show you guys what I got, so let's get into it. Just gonna give you guys a preview. I have to take everything out, but I mean, my car is just stuffed full of shoes, jackets, sweaters, electronics, awesome stuff. Shoes, VHS players, DVD combo units, one of my favorite things to sell. Lots of shoes, vintage sweatshirts, really good stuff in there, a Magnolite pan. I'm just giving you guys a preview and then <laughs> video games, baby. One of my favorite things to pick up. I'm so pumped. It's gonna take a while to go through this haul, but let's do it. Okay guys, gonna start with the video games. I kind of laid everything out as best as I could. I paid $275 for all of this, which I think is a really good deal. And I made a good connection with this guy. We'll start on this side. I got some like Atari games, um, and I believe there's some Intellivision games in there, a whole bunch of them. I got a GameCube, a Wii, an NN64 with controllers, a PlayStation 2, the Wii and the N64 and the GameCube all have power cables and everything, which is great. And I got some games. These ones right here, these eight games are kind of just basic games. Like I call them pickle games where you can throw them in bundles. Uh, but then you got over here two copies of Super Mario 64 and two copies of Mario Kart. Those are each like, if I'm not mistaken, $35 to $40 games in really good condition. This one's in better shape than this one as far as like the sticker is faded. But... They should still both do really good. This green see-through controller is really nice. It's a Nintendo brand. I got a Nintendo DS Lite in really good condition um, with some games, and it powers on and works, which is awesome. And um, the games are right there. A couple pickle games, and then an original Game Boy is just, this was something he was going to rebuild, but he never did, but um, it was kind of thrown in the deal. Just kind of like a cool display piece to have, and then some extra controllers and cables and stuff, which is nice. I got this limited edition um, Sega Game Gear, the blue model. It's really hard to come by. Um, there's not that many out there anymore, and uh, they sell for about, in perfectly working condition, about 125 to 150 on eBay. And uh, this one, I guess the sound doesn't work, but the games play fine, which is cool with me. Um, and there was a couple of games in there, The Lion King, Jurassic Park, and Rye Star. I got a Sega Genesis with power cables and controller, which is cool. Uh, needs to be cleaned up and then this right here the sony playstation um with the um box and everything just really cool unit and um this was a really cool find for me and i'm just really excited to have it it's just um it's all in there with like basically the original packaging and everything um so again just a really cool haul from all of this i should be able to easily make probably over a thousand dollars on all this stuff maybe i don't know i'm not maybe i'm not doing my math correct but i would just go like hundred 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 you know like that's probably just in those consoles right there probably six hundred dollars maybe even more you know and then i've got the accessories i've got some wii wheels and some other things too so let's just call it like maybe seven hundred and fifty dollars or maybe even more but i should easily triple my money and video games sell super fast so this is like still a great pickup for me i love listing and selling video games because they just sell so fast and there's a huge demand for them every day on the market so yeah let's show you guys what else i got so guys i actually forgot to mention something that i got with everything else and you can see it right there but my door's locked i'm gonna go around the other side keep the box showing because i'm so excited this was included in the $275, which is really what just was like the icing on the cake. I've never found one of these. And man, look at that. Hero Quest, the game, baby. 
He said it's missing a few minor pieces, but everything for the most part is there, which is awesome. And it's like all original. You can see like the character sheet pad. There's just tons of them still, which is just crazy. These retail for resell online right now for like almost $150 complete. So yeah, I mean, just to have this and possibly sell this for probably like a hundred bucks, maybe more. If it's missing one or two pieces, then I should be in really good shape with this bulk buy. So I'm gonna go through the clothing stuff that I got real quick and show you guys what that is. And then I got all the hard goods laid out a little bit and I got a bunch of shoes in the car. So I'm gonna go through those too. But these, I got some really cool items. So starting off, I got this front and back Monster Jam shirt. The tag was ripped out, but this is like a XL. Um, and Monster Jam stuff is really popular. I think I paid a dollar for this. So a good pickup there. Um, and at the same booth, I got this really cool Nike, like, um, what is this, like velvet or suede type material um, on the black tag. It's not super old or anything, but I thought it was just a really nice jacket. Everything will have to be washed and cleaned, of course, but I paid two bucks for that. And then before I got to the flea market, I actually hit a garage sale. It was more like a, like a Elks Lodge sale, but it was a garage sale. And I'm pretty sure this is from the 70s. It's like a vintage Carter's, like corduroy neck, blanket lined, denim workwear jacket and I mean just like the distressing on it is just awesome um it's just really cool it just shows its age and I paid two bucks for this and some of them are listed for like a hundred to two hundred dollars back to the flea market I got this L.L. Bean women's plaid line coat I paid a dollar for this and it's in really good shape um there's a couple little tiny marks but they'll wash out really nice I got this really cool vintage Sherpa lined denim jacket. It's just super clean. Um, I actually paid up for this, which is I normally don't do, but I just really liked this one and it had the little patch on the bottom as well. So I just thought that it was cool. It just says um, washers on it. And then at the, t the tag says Alessio. I'll show you guys a close up of that right there. Um, just a really cool, unique tag. So I just thought it was a nice piece. And uh, yeah, it's a good wash. Um, at one booth where I got two pairs of shoes, which you'll see later, I got this Kuji shirt um, and it had like the little CG spell out on the sleeve right here, which I thought was cool. And um, then it also said down here, authentic Australian with the Australian flag embroidered. So I thought it was just a neat shirt. Um, the jeans and the sweaters do pretty well for them. So uh, this is just like a little bit of an older US Navy shirt. Um, really cool, got it from a gentleman for a dollar. So was really happy with this on the Hanes heavyweight tag, extra large. This is one of my more favorite pieces. I paid a dollar for this. It's a vintage Nike white tag made in the USA crew neck sweatshirt. Um, just with the classic swoosh on it, really cool color. Um, just be great for, for winter for somebody. I got a vintage single stitch NASCAR shirt right here on the old school Fruit of the Loom tag XL single stitch and it's Dave, um, Craig something, I don't remember, but you can see right there the single stitching on the sleeve, just really nice and just beautiful fade on it as what people say with vintage, really nice fade. Uh, the same booth I got the de that shirt from, I got this Florida Gators starter puffer jacket. These are really popular and um, I paid $13 for this and there is a little bit of a flaw down here on the jacket, but I feel like I could still probably pull 50 bucks out of this. Um, and it's on the starter tag size large, so just really nice. I love picking these up with the big gator on the back, really cool. All right, fit check real quick. This was just in the middle of the pile, but I got these two at a garage sale. Um, I got these vintage Levi's black tab uh, jean shorts, and I think they're a 32 or a 33, uh, but they're just in really good condition. And what I mean by black tab, as you can see right here on the side of the pocket, the Levi's tag is black. So it definitely shows the vintage. And then there should be a tag in here that says made in the USA, but it's actually super faded. But you can see the Levi's right there. And it does say made in the USA, but really hard to see. And I paid $2 for those shorts. And at the same sale, I got this shirt right here, which is a 1997 Nike Air Max shirt. So the first year the Air Maxes came out is 97, I believe. And then there was a little sleeve hit right here, which I don't really know what this means. I, Nike believes in evolution or something, but there's a little sleeve hit on it. And then right here in the center, it says Air Max 1997. So pretty cool shirt on the old gray y, Y2K Nike tag, what people call it. So this is a pretty cool find. And then lastly for the clothing, I got this uh, NFL uh, Raiders jacket. 
Um, I paid $6 for this jacket and this one. Um, the, the NFL jacket's really nice, but these are like awesome. I love selling these. This is a vintage mountain goat. Uh, if you don't know this brand, be on the lookout for it. It's a great bolo. They got huge tags in them like this. This is a women's medium and you can see the embroidery right here on the collar. Um, and then it's even got the little spell out on the tag. These bright um, like neon ski jackets and stuff sell for a lot of money. I sell these really quick for like between 40 to $60. So, and it even has like a, um, like a ski resort, um, not resort, but like a ski lodge tag still on it. So very cool jacket. I love picking those up. They sell super quick. Um, a couple last things. I picked up this like a uh, Nike Tiger Woods style, whatever these are called hats. Um, I forget what they're called, like the golfer's hat or whatever. Um, really good shape. It's got the little snap button right here. So it lifts up. And then I've actually just recently sold one of these on Depop for I think like 30 or 40 bucks. So I paid a dollar for this, a really easy pickup for me. And then at that first like Elks Lodge sale that I got that denim blanket line jacket at, I got two pairs of vintage Lee jeans. I'm pretty sure these are from the 70s. Um, don't hold me to that, but I'm if I'm not mistaken, they are. They are made in the USA for sure. And I paid 50 cents each for these. So I got a dollar into both pairs. This should be an easy 20 to 30 bucks minimum on both of these jeans, but probably more. All right, kids are playing in the front yard right there, but everything that you are going to see in this pile right here, I just paid $45 for everything at the flea market. So I got these um, youth like toddler uh, um, Air Jordan shoes. I don't know the model, but they're a super cool colorway and they had the original box. When I looked them up, they were selling for about 60 to $70 without the box. And um, these had the $80 tag on them, so they must have kept their value. These are the uh, Jordan 7 Retros. I got a Nintendo Wii with no Wiimotes, but all the cables and one of the nunchuck joysticks, which is cool. I got a Sony Handycam with a battery. Some of these Handycams can sell for upwards of $150, depending on the model. And so to have this included in the bundle was just great. I got a uh, Kryptonic skateboard, which is kind of like the penny boards, but this one has like a grip on it, which is really nice. And the wheels and the bearings are really good. They spin for quite a long time. So this was like an easy pickup for me. And then I also got the PlayStation um, drum set right here for Rock Band and Guitar Hero. It was missing the poles, but I actually have extra poles. So um, it has the, st the stands for the bottom and the kick drum pedal. So that was also an easy pickup. So all this for 45 bucks. Sometimes I'll pay $45 for just a Nintendo Wii on Facebook Marketplace uh, if it has some decent games and stuff with it. So to get all this for 45 bucks, easy pickup for me from one booth at the flea. For having some family fun outside, I'm gonna finish this video and show you guys the shoes. I got a lot of shoes, Nike Free Runs, Sauconies, Roshis, New Balance, Vans. Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys these two things. I got this Sony Discman right here at that garage sale where I got the Nike shirt and the denim jean shorts. Paid two bucks for this. And then at the flea market, I got this Magnolite GHC 10 inch pan skillet. And these sell really well, probably about 40 to 50 bucks. I paid $3 for that. So another nice pickup. Over here, DVD combo units. I paid uh, $8 for these two and $5 for this one. And they all plugged in and worked. Um, I obviously have to test them uh, at, inside my office. I got this Sharp VHS unit. Here's the model number. I got it in the box, brand new. It looks like it's never even been taken out of the plastic wrap for 15 bucks. And it looks like the most recent sold, I'll pop it up on the screen right here, is $240 free shipping. So that was a sweet pickup as well. Down here, I got two PlayStation 2 Slims uh, with AC adapters and one controller, which I think I got an extra controller with this video game lot. Um, I paid $25 each, so $50 total for the PlayStation 2 Slims. And I've sold those before for anywhere from 120 to 150 on Facebook Marketplace and Mercari. Um, and then coming over to more shoes, guys, I just got so many. I got Merrell's. These are like the Moab Mock Classic Topes or something. And then I'll go to the other side so you can see the rest. You can just see like all sorts of stuff, guys. Oh, I actually 
Forgot I paid $5 for this Magnavox DVD recorder as well, and they're selling for about 50 to 60 bucks. But Nike Fly Knits, New Balance Fresh Foams. I got two pairs of Sorel boots. I paid um, $8 each for these, $7.50 actually. And these are awesome boots. Look at the color, and they're like the Sherpa fur lined. I got some Hoka's down here. There's just so many pairs of shoes. Hoka Clifton 4s in pretty decent shape. Um, you, It may look like there's not much tread left, but people who wear Hoka's like will literally pay $50 to $60 because these shoes are three times that price, brand new. Here's another pair of Hoka Clifton 4s, some Nike uh, Flyknit free runs, I think, some Adidas NMDs, Brooks Ghost shoes. This is a great bolo. I got two pairs of women's vans right here in really good shape. I paid $3 each for these two lace-up vans. There's a pair of Hoka 1-1 One One Vanquish 3s. There's another pair of New Balance, some more Roshis. Guys, it was just a great day. It was just super killer. I am so happy with everything that I got. I'm sweating, but I'm having a lot of fun. Today was definitely one of those days that just keeps you going as a reseller when you just find consistently find good stuff. So it was really exciting for me. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the haul, seeing what I picked up. I have to do the math, but I think overall I spent right under $600 for everything, which is actually not a lot of money at all. I should make half of that money back almost just on that one sharp VHS recorder. So, I mean, sheesh, sheesh. So anyway, that's the haul, guys. I got shoes, I got clothes, I got electronics, I got video games, I got skateboards, I got handy cams, I got Asher. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos. Leave a like on this video for me. It helps the channel grow. And comment what your favorite find of the day was for me. And let me know your thoughts if you had any good pickups this weekend. And I'll see you in the next one. Asher, say peace money. Peace money.